Greetings and salutations, this is the Wise 85 and welcome to another episode of Legend of Zelda Wind Waker with DKS3 In the last episode we picked up two more treasure chests. Yes, it's just two. But hey, it's better than nothing because we saved the worst for last. So now we got seven out of eight treasure charts, and the last one is on Outside Island. And yeah, this one is horrible to get. But on the walkthrough we've been doing, we, we, we've been looking at a little walkthrough, trying to get notes and stuff together, figure out what we're supposed to do, that way we can keep ourselves you know, straightened out. We skipped this one intentionally, because this is actually supposed to be the sixth one we were supposed to get. But we skipped this one intentionally, went to the seventh and eighth one, because, uh, and now we have no choice but to grab this one. It's bad. It's bad. Trust me when I say this. This, this one's bad. It, it may start off easy, but the further down you'll go, the harder it will get. Trust me when I say this one is horrible. <laughs> Anybody who's played The Wind Waker and stuff like that and played it, we will know immediately what we're talking about with this one. But if you haven't, you're gonna be in health. You're gonna be prepared for uh, like something that we're not looking forward to whatsoever. <laughs> Ooh, rupees though. Uh, no, we need less than a thousand rupees to be able to decipher all the, all the, uh, treasure charts. Need about 3,200, we're about 900 away. And he might actually get this in the area that we're going to. Uh, who knows? We'll see. Or get really close. But we'll need the Deku Leaf. Jeez. So, uh, it's not going to be too bad to begin with, but trust me, as we go further down, this is going to get horrible. And horrible quick. We're, we're going to be heading back to the, like, the area where it's like the Forbidden Woods, like the first area of the game. The Forbidden Woods. <laughs> but we're not going to go to the Forbidden Woods. Not quite. You notice that this path to the right that we've never really went to? We're going to be headed this way. We notice over there, there's a hidden ledge behind all the houses. It's kind of hard to see where we're at right now, but that's where we need to go. Alright, so we're going to set the wind to the west. If you notice, behind these houses, behind Link's grandma's house and stuff like that, there is definitely, indeed, a hidden ledge. So we're going to fly over here very slowly, so we don't really see any magic, and don't overshoot it, or undershoot it. And this is where we're, going. This is where we're at. And if you notice over here, there's a secret hole! Be all honest and fair with y'all. We've already checked it out once. We already checked it out. Just to get ourselves prepped up for it. But there used to be a little one of those head, big statue heads that we threw out of the way. But then, welcome to the Savage Labyrinth. We, need, we got an empty bottle. Might as well use it to catch one of the fairies. <laughs> and we caught a fairy in the bottle. When your life energy runs out and you collapse from exhaustion, this fairy will replenish your strength. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 my dirty little bitch. But if you notice, right here is the Savage Labyrinth. The Savage Labyrinth. Deep in the never-ending darkness, the way to the golden shard you see awaits. There are 51 floors in this dungeon. And each floor has, uh, every t uh, floor has a lot of enemies and stuff. Like, every 10th floor you get a little bit of retrieve for, like, healing or... Rupees, whatever. But every time, every floor you go down, you have to defeat all the enemies to go through. But every enemy floor you go down, the enemies get a little bit tougher. But we only need to go down to the 31st floor to get the Triforce chart. If you want to go down to all 51st floor, first floor, you get a heart piece for it. But it gets insanely hard. So the first floor just had a bunch of keys. This one has a bunch of little mini bogeys and stuff. Six mini bits. Not too bad. 
go, like, so the first few floors are just going to breeze right through it. This one's going to have four Bobokins. Bokoblins. Whatever they're called. Four of these. You're not hard. <laughs> they come up and stab you in the back with a stick. <laughs> a freaking stick. And right now it's just, like I said, easy, easy, lemon squeezy. Next floor is going to have six red choo choos. So, just six red choo choos, not going to be, uh, like I said, these are. It looks like the enemies don't give you anything, though. Okay. <laughs> that one tried to jump at you. Then you kind of missed. Uh, like I said, six red choo choos, nothing to it right now. The next one's gonna have four magtails. Oh shit! And you realize uh, if you got what the magtails are, those little things that you have to hit the. Uh, you either curl up in a ball, but also so you can hit them with arrows. It should have. Do the trick. There you go. Now just kind of. <laughs> I even did this. It's still not too hard. Just gotta be careful. Okay. Just come on, Magtail. Turn around. Thank you. <laughs> Pop into the eye. There should be one more. Yeah, one more somewhere. There it is. Pop it in the eye really good. And there we go. All four of them are out of the way. So we're heading down to the next floor, which has four keys and four mini blends. So again, nothing too bad. To the keys. Go back. Oh, mini blend actually hit us. There we go. You thought it was funny, but I smashed your ass. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Next one is gonna be four fire keys and two magtails. So, uh, ooh, don't forget, uh, you got the bottle equipped. That's a, uh, worst case scenario. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Got the back, uh, back tail all the way, and there we go. Nothing to it. The next one's gonna have two fire keys and four Boko Blitz. You notice that the rooms are getting a little bit darker too. Then we get the bird away from the surface. There we go. <laughs> no, let's do it still. So now we can head down to the next floor. Which is gonna have two moblins. Just two moblins. Still nothing really to it. <laughs> Beat him in the head with the boomerang. Oh. Alright, we got rid of one of the moblins. Okay. And there we go. Now we've made it to the 10th floor, guys. I mean, 11th floor. This is a little bit of a retreat floor. We can get rupees and refills and. If you wanted to head out, there's a light beam to get us back to, uh, back out if we wanted to choose to, but we're not going to. Woo! Rubies! <laughs> More rubies! <laughs> nice! But like I said, heart, heart, and it looks like that's it, so let's head down to the 12th floor, which is going to contain six P hats. No, shit, my heart. Six P hats. Luckily, they're not too hard. But since we definitely not, since we know how to deal with them now, they're nearly not too hard at all. Just hit them with the boomerang and. 
cut off those wing thingies, and boom, there we go. That's it. <laughs> Alright, so the next four is gonna have four green choo choos. That's it, four green choo choos. So this is this is the this is an easy floor. <laughs> was, it, was that just a glitch? Did I see a glitch? Yay. Alright, gotta take care of that one. Next one's gonna have four fourteen. You're gonna have five Foco Bombas. Five of these days. Wow, really? Yeah, with the boomerang, it just hit it once and it cuts off your stem, and that's all there is to it. <laughs> Easy as pie, actually. There we go. <laughs> Alright. That three and four is going to have four shield vocal blades. Basically, the focus focus is going to be the with shields. So. Ow, Link. Oh, I was like, there's one more somewhere. There it is. Okay, that takes care of all that. Okay. Next one's going to have five wingless mothulas. For sure. Lucky they all can get killed in one day. <laughs> that was actually easy enough. Yeah, really. All right. Next one's gonna have three P hats and three Boko Bombas. So basically, a lot of the enemies you've seen already. It's just gonna be uh, all buried up with constant crazy combinations now. And we got one more Boko Bomba to deal with. There we go. We're gonna breathe into this right now, but it'll get harder. Trust me on that. Maybe. Next one's gonna have four Bobokins and pots, and four green choo choos. So yeah, that's basically the same thing. It's just you know, the pots have enemies in this time. Coast the pots, and they'll break out the pots, and boom, boom, there we go. One more pot over there. Huh, you're going to try to get a head start on it. There we go. And that takes care of all of that. There we go. The next one's going to have three wingless mothulas and two boba kits. <laughs> the next one is 420. The room is the four before the, it's gonna have two regular mothulas. Two of them. Okay. You gotta be careful with this. But if you hit up the boomerang or something like that enough, they uh, that's the only problem with these mothulas, they won't shoot those things out big time. There's one of the mothulas out of the way. You gotta worry about this. Oh my god! <laughs> now I think I think we can get rid, rid of get the fire on done. Oh, never mind. We don't have to worry about it. We can. And 421 now. We now have a reprieve room. More pots, more rupees, more stuff like that. And another light beam if you wanted to get out, but we're not going to. Hearts. And bombs. And of course, bunches of rupees here. Ooh. Yeah, was that a green rupee? Purple rupee I just saw? Another purple rupee. Ooh. 
That was almost 2,700. All right, the next room, 422, is going to have three with robes. <laughs> three with robes. Luckily, these are the weak with robes that you only die with one fire arrow. And that was easy enough. <laughs> that was actually not too bad. Alright, the next floor is going to have four Armos. Oh! 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 I got three of them in one shot there. You gotta move out of the way so they don't blow us up. Now we just got one more on the statue. There we go. And I take care of that one. So now we're gonna go down. And the next room has two Armos Knights. So we're gonna. They're basically the same. Only luckily there's only two of them, but it's basically. Throw a bomb in their mouth. Just like that. Not too, nothing to it. Oh! There we go. Oh! We missed! There we go. We got it. Now we just gotta avoid this and... Take care of that. The next one's gonna have six yellow choo choos in pots. Yes, we got six yellow choo choos in the list now. Luckily, they're still not too hard. They're just gonna, they're gonna try to come out and surprise y'all with pots. That's all there is. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Oh! Oh, yeah, 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 yeah! Link, why'd you get electrocuted? It's fine! It's <laughs> Alright! So I take care of that one, and the next four is gonna have four red bubbles. No, so, nothing to these, just. And that's all there is to that. <laughs> Alright, so the next room is going to have two Bokoblins and a Dark Nut. <laughs> yes, we got to deal with the Dark Nut now. Alright, there we go. Now we've got to... Alrighty, let's do it. There we go. Boom boom. Alright, so the next one is gonna have three Armos and one Rizro. So there's gonna be a lot to. It's actually gonna be a little bit of a lot to contend with this at this room because of all the Armos running around and the Rizro doing this Rizro stuff. We got rid of the armor, I mean with ropes, and we've got two more armor statues to deal with. And there we go. Run, Link! Run! Run! There we go. Alright. Floor number 29. Only a couple more floors left to go. This one's gonna have two armor knights and two red bubbles. Yep, we've got to worry about this the red bubble. Ooh! Ow! Alright! So last floor, last floor now, before the, the Triforce chart, is two Dark Nuts. 
two dark knights. We beat this, and we'll get the uh, Triforce Charm. Ow! Link! Alright. But basically it's almost the same thing. Oh my god, that hurt. Alright, that's it. We have one of the Dark Nuts. We've got one more to deal with. Luckily, uh, fortunately, it doesn't look like he gets hurt by arrows. And that takes care of the other Dark Nut. And this is the four with the Triforce chart. We made it! Now, if you want to continue down, you can. There's 20 more fours. You can get yourself a piece of heart. But we'll do that at another time. For now, this is where we can get the Triforce chart. So. And more rubies! Alright. That puts us almost at 2,900. Ooh, even more rupees! We almost have exactly how much we need. We're about 200 rupees. <laughs> but like I said, if you want to continue down, you can. To go, it's like 20 more floors, we can go get a piece of heart. But we're going to do that on one of Link's off screen adventures. Mm -hmm. For now, we got what we came for. The Triforce chart. And that, my friends, is the eighth and final Triforce chart. Mm -hmm. So now, we have all eight Triforce charts. We'll have to go to somebody to get them deciphered for us. But there's a light beam right there to get us out of here if we, if we choose to, which we are. But if you want to choose to continue on, you hit that little statue right there, and the statue explodes, leading to the hole to the next floor. But yeah, uh, mm -hmm. we're done with this here episode of Legend of Zelda. Let's play Wind Waker. <laughs> and we got our eighth and final Triforce chart. So the next time, we're gonna go get somebody to decipher them for us. We're gonna have enough gold to we're gonna have enough gold to come back. Next time you see us, we'll have enough rupees to show and get them all deciphered at once. And then it's all sailing to go find the eight Triforce charts. You get the Triforce of Courage put back together. So y'all have a good day. We will see y'all next time on Let's Play Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, like you just mentioned a couple seconds ago. This is DKS 3A, the crazy gamer with Laws 85. Show me with this loud now. Signing out.